okay, thank you. Thank you for organizers uh, to invite me uh, to present this talk. Uh, okay, uh, hello, I am Rafael Ferreira. Good evening. I, I am a PhD student. Uh, sorry, I, I'm a PhD candidate in physics at UFRN Brazil. And my talk is about activity of the stars uh, HD 43587. This is a star uh, that was a primary target in the Coho Space Mission uh, satellite. Uh, and in this work, uh, we investigated the long photometric and spectroscopy activity of the, the solar now. Over 50 years of measurement uh, since, since the 1960 uh, years. Uh, this talk is derived from astronomy astrophysics paper published last August uh, as partial results for my PhD project. Uh, so, uh, the study of the sunspot number as well as the, that of solar variability have been good indicators of magnetic activity and continuous records of the sunspot number have existed since the first uh, observation by Galileo Galilei at the beginning of the 17th century. Uh, the fundamental question uh, about how singular is, is the magnetic activity evolution of the sun uh, has motivated long-term surveys of stellar activity uh, in the context of solar type stars. Uh, strong efforts have been made over the last decades seeking to increase the spectroscope data. Uh, we have long-term observational programs uh, have been relevant to the detection of anomalous behavior in stellar activity uh, among solar-like stars contexts. So here uh, in this plot, uh, we can see the whole uh, activity time series of the sun. Yeah? And we can, we can see also the, the paradigms uh, compute the activity cycle of the sun about uh, 11 years. Well, we know that the sunspots are related uh, with the activity in the sun. Uh, the number of sunspots are measured since the 16th century. As we know, uh, there are a solar activity cycles of approach 11 years, well, as we know, and this is important for the study of, of solar activity uh, as well. Uh, it's possible to make an interesting question about the sun activity. Is there a connection between the solar activity cycles and the earth climate connection? You can see here a uh, whole uh, plot of sunspot number uh, since the 18th century. Okay. Uh, as we know, so the magnet fields uh, are one of the evidence of the chromospheric activity in stars. This happened uh, with matter and radiation being emitted outward of stars. Uh, our principal spectroscopy indicator is the flow lines of calcium 2 in the stellar spectra. There is a connection between the activity and sunspots cycles in the sun uh, because the sunspots are also manifestation of the, act the activity in the sun. Uh, we can see uh, on the stellar spectra, eh? Stellar spectra provide valuable information about stellar chromospheres. To measure stellar chromospheric activity, we use the flux in the calcium 2 H and K lines to derive the well known SE index. Okay, here we can see the, the plot of the quiet sun and the active sun. We, we can see the uh, emission lines and absorption lines uh, in the white sun versus activity sun. The first observational program to continuously measure the activity of main sequence stars is the ASHCA project uh, at the Mount Wilson Observatory, uh, which is located at Mount Wilson at the 
1,742 meters altitude in the San Gabriel Mountains, Los Angeles, California. The observatory had two telescopes. The Hale telescopes with 1.5 meters and the Hooker telescope with 2.5 meters. Uh, along the years, uh, several index to measure stellar activity have been proposed. Here, we, we adopt the standard Mountain Wilson S index, which is initially proposed in the context of Mountain Wilson project. And the alpha constant is an observational constant defined by Duncan and collaborators 1991. Uh, we also have the the other regions uh, of the spectra, H, K, and R and V. Uh, so in this plot, we can see the color magnitude diagram, uh, special attention to uh, location of the sun. Uh, another uh, relevant information that uh, since 19s, that, sorry, since the 60s, uh, many authors have investigated the spectroscopy activity using S index time series. One of the first uh, spectroscopy activity measurements, uh, the solar X index has varied between 0 0.60 at minimal of the solar activity and 0 .0 0 0.22 at a maximum of solar activity cycles. Uh, from these observational hazards, it's accepted that young stars have strong activity levels. And however, uh, we have a problem because some young stars present extremely long activity over many years. This unexpected phase is a real puzzling for theoreticians, theoreticians and observing astronomers. Many authors have proposed using the solar chromospheric as a pattern to study the activity evolution in other solar type stars. One of the most intriguing phenomena observed in the sunspot scouting survey is the long period phase, posteriorly called the milder minimum phase, when almost no sunspots were observed on the solar surface. Between uh, 6045 and 1750, it lasted for about 70 years between the 16th and 17th centuries. There is still no complete explanation for this period of extremely low activity. However, it's historically known that it coincided with a short glacial era on Earth, focused on rural. Here in this, in this, this picture, uh, we have a modern minimum phase that was a period uh, where we can see the very low number of sunspots in this, in this plot. Uh, we can relation the modern minimum phase with the little ice age in the 17th century. It was registered in this, this picture of the Thumbs River. We can see much ice here. Okay, in, in the, the season of the summer. Uh, many authors claim a possible connection between the sun activity and the Earth's, Earth's climate change. Uh, so this is a very polemical topic in the ast astronomers community, uh, as well in the scientific community uh, in general. Let's move on. Uh, our, our object, uh, the star Ash, HD 43587, uh, belongs to a quadruple system composed of two distant main sequence visual binary stars, uh, which is localized in the Orion constellation. Uh, it's a bright sun like star. The system has been largely observed by many authors since the uh, 19th century. The star was also monitored by using the CFHT telescope, Canadian France Highway Telescope, for four seasons between uh, 2002 and 2005. So, our stars uh, was a coho space mission primary target in the seismologic program 
uh, with the Coho ID 3474. Observe it during the run 03 for uh, 145 days. Complementary observations were carried out uh, with the spectrograph uh, HARPS, eh? High Accuracy Radial Velocity Planet Search, mounted on the tier, tier at <clears throat> 3.7, 3.6 meters telescope in La Silla Observatory uh, by ESO. In addition, it has been monitored by several other spectroscopical long term observational campaigns dedicated to activity, uh, such as the ASH. Ashka project of the multi use observatory between 1966 and 90, 1990. In the, uh, the California and Cajun Planet Sash at the CAC Observatory between 1995 and 2000. Uh, this project, uh, okay, uh, our data set in this, in our paper, the observational spectroscopic data uh, considered here in, in our paper, were obtained partially from our head published long-term service and partially in spectral archives uh, available, uh, public available. Uh, our data set consists mainly from data from multi Wilson project, CCPS at Kerkley Observatory, uh, Law Observatory, and the uh, uh, spectral archives from Naval and Harp spectrographs. Naval uh, is a, a spectrograph mounted uh, at Bernard Leo Telescope in, in the region of uh, Mid Pyrenees uh, on the France. Uh, this star has been considered by various authors as a strong modern candidate uh, due, to, due to its long time activity series shows a long flight activity lasting about 50 years since the, the yearly Mount Wilson project. So uh, we can see the plot, uh, our stars Naval Spectrum. Uh, in this spectrum, uh, the magenta spectrum corresponds to maximum X index value of our data set observed on February 13, 2010. Uh, the blue spectrum corresponds to the minimum X index value observed on January 18, 2010. Uh, both spectra were normalized from 2,800 89 angstrom to uh, 4013 uh, angstrom. An upward shift in flux of 0 0.05 was applied in the, the blue spectra to better visualization. The inset panel shows the region uh, between, between uh, 2930 angstroms and 2900. Uh, so uh, we can see also this, this equation, uh, the, the, the equations of convert to Narval uh, index of activity to the standard uh, activity indices uh, as index of multi -wheels. Let's move on to our results. Uh, in this result, uh, I present the analysis of the photometric data and the spectroscopic data. Uh, photometric data collected by uh, Coho Satellite Space Mission. Uh, alongside the long term time series analysis of our SC index and the infrared activity cycle uh, from this. And we discuss about the indirect determination of the rotation period for our stars. Uh, also, I, I summarize the magnetic activity cycle simulation, uh, magnetic activity cycle and dynamo simulations. Uh, here, uh, I highlight that the determination 
of the rotation period for for this uh, low activity stars is a, a very hard task. So uh, you can see in this plot the Kohoulite curve of HD 43587. Uh, and based on the photometric data for the Coho satellite space mission, uh, we investigated the variability of the light curve of our stars. Uh, with the goal to determine the rotation period, we computed the general z lomb cargo paradigm, as well as the autocorrelation function uh, applied to Coho light curve of our stars. And the top, light, top left panel, uh, we can see uh, we see the whole light curve, including discontinuities, uh, and the head plots, the head dots, and the, the trended light curve uh, with black dots. Uh, top right panel uh, detail the discontinuities at the end of the light curve with head dots, and the flat aspect of the curve after the reduction uh, with black dots. In the middle left panel. We, can, we see a general z lomb cargo program for the, the trend light curve with false alarm probability of 5% and 1% green dots and, and blue dashed line, respectively. Uh, at middle high panel, uh, we, we see the general z lomb cargo program for, for how light curve with false alarm probability, uh, the same as the, the trended analysis. At the bottom panel, uh, we have an uh, autocorrelation function periodogram for the same two reductions procedures. In accordance with several authors, uh, we, can, we have can, that such stars like uh, analogs, solar analogs present a rotation period uh, around the solar value. Uh, which is ranging between 14 and 30 days at maximum. If in thought, uh, the rotation period inferred by the autocorrelation function method belong to this interval. The peak corresponds in the autocorrelation function curve is not strong enough uh, if compared to the rest uh, to be considered as a suitable result. Uh, thus, uh, even after eliminating the fossil long-term tendency, it, it's impossible it was impossible to determine uh, with precision a, a valid modulation period uh, for our stars from these coho light curves. Uh, we also derived the photometric activity proxy, the S index photometer, uh, by computing the standard deviation of the light curve correcting after subtraction the photonoid. Uh, we we obtained the S index photometer, photometric. Uh, 100, 102 ppm, which returns, which corresponds to a rotational period of 40, 40, 43 days. It's a, a forbidden period for these stars. Uh, this valor uh, is characteristic of a two giant and the RGB stars uh, with this stellar mass. On the other hand, uh, the peak variability of this light curve represents uh, over could represent uh, as well uh, over a, a 50 year time span reinforce the flectative profile of these stars. However, the lack of modulation could also be an indication of a possible dynamo shutdown. Therefore, these preliminary photometric results strengthen the argument in favor uh, of uh, our stars, HD 43587, digging under a long flat activity phase, a prolonged long flat activity phase. Uh, we, can, we move on to the spectroscopy analysis. Uh, here uh, we computed uh, the S index. Uh, for the different spectra obtained with spectrographs NARVO and HARPS, uh, with 50, uh, 50 spectra for NARVO and three spectra for HARPS spectroscopy, spectrograph. Uh, we used our, our tools 
uh, our computational tools uh, de uh, develop uh, accord several authors uh, two minutes to go mr Ferreira. Okay. thank you uh, do, okay uh, just to uh, strike the activity index from calcium to hk lines and we combine we combine the results with the already published data. Uh, our complete data sets contain uh, 100, 1,000, uh, 1,524 measures covered a few, uh, five, uh, 50 years between 1966 and 2060. Our, our threat activity profile is confirmed uh, with S index around 0 0.154 uh, is reinforced by low variability of the S index quantified by the standard deviation. Uh, we, we can now uh, investigate the complete data series uh, seek to active to cycle for these stars. Uh, in this figure, uh, we can see the entire chromospheric activity uh, by our measure, measures, uh, and we can we found the activity cycle of about uh, ten point four years. Yeah, is 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 suitable with the the activity cycle to the sun as about uh, eleven years. Uh, we also found a long-term trend that might be a longer cycle with flying a setting 50 years. Uh, this possible long period could be a similar uh, of the 88 years uh, Glazeberg cycle of the sun. But it's a, a, a really a little bit speculative result. Okay, uh, with the rotation uh, from the photometry and spectroscopy data was not found suitable rotation period for this object. But we, uh, <clears throat> given we have at hands, uh, we proceed to, uh, to seek a rotation period uh, uh, through uh, indirect methods, uh, through gyrochronology uh, and through, uh, through uh, semi periodic relations uh, from noise at all, uh, as we can we can see. So we we found uh, suitable periods uh, similar to the rotation periods of the sun, but uh, they are indirect periods, uh, semi indirect periods, uh, semi semi uh, semi -theor theoretical periods né? based for from theoretical models. Uh, here, uh, we, can, we can see a uh, rotation activity cycle. And in, in this plot, the, the, the black star is our star. And we can see really, really, really near uh, of the, the, the solar value. And it was a, a pretty good hazard. With these hazards, uh, we infer an average period uh, about 20, 22 days uh, for our stars. That was uh, really, really, really good. So here we, we can see this, uh, our simulations, né? Uh, based on, on global numeric models. Uh, this, these results uh, have provided a new understanding of the relation between stellar rotation magnetic activity, but uh, to substantiate our, our observational analysis, so we perform uh, these numerical simulations. Uh, I have no time further to detail completely the simulations with like uh, magneto, magneto hydrodynamical code. So uh, let's move on to conclusions. Uh, this spectrum analysis is fundamental in the, to understand the astrophysical process. Uh, and this work uh, using high resolution spectral archives and already published data to investigate this, the chromospheric activity of the, the fascinating star. 
uh, it's worth mentioning that uh, given difficulties of finding rotation parent for light curves, uh, we use indirect methods, uh, even though the, the possibility, uh, even though the possibility that our stars is under uh, model based phases uh, cannot be ruled out, but our results as, uh, seem indicate to, to indicate that it's a solar analysis star older than the sun and undergoing a natural decrease in this magnet activity. Uh, however, some authors are that uh, a transition in the stellar, stellar differential rotation might be the cause of these low levels of activity, motivated uh, by the, the process and the host B number and so, so far. Uh, the characterization of modern mean star uh, well, would only be valid if, if we could observe the stars coming in and coming out of this, uh, this minimum. Uh, there's no correct observation indicating this pattern uh, at literature. Uh, in the context of the light evolution, uh, several authors uh, have investigated the, the, uh, these factors and the long, long flat activity profiles in the stars. Uh, it's uh, similar uh, with the, the activity of the sun. What uh, in, in this case of uh, our stars, uh, it makes it a good candidate for being a Earth-like exoplanet host. Uh, it's a low activity level provides a, a good, excellent opportunity to uh, attempt a sighting of uh, Earth-like planet with our interference of magnetic activity. This way, we estimate that it is fundamental to keep monitoring these stars to confirm the coexistence of the possible uh, secondary period cycle, as well to increase the, the accuracy of the cycle and rotation period determination. We also consider that uh, uh, these stars should be a, a, a relevant target for the exoplaton future mission. Uh, here our paper. Okay, my my team and my 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 financial support at Brazil, uh, agents of the Brazilian Ministry of Education. And thank you for our attention. And you will could email me if you want.